Okay, today we're going to take a look at uh, the Apple Color Emoji characters that are available uh, in TextEdit and that you can use in uh, your web designs or your print designs. Uh, but there's a couple little uh, tricks to using them in uh, different applications. So first I'm going to open up a new document in TextEdit and just uh, open up our fonts here show fonts okay and then go up to the A's and you'll notice that you don't see the Apple emoji color font in here so what you need to do is go to special characters under the edit menu and that's where your character palette will come up which is the same as the character viewer that you can have as a menulet okay and there you see all of the emoji characters that are available there are 889 of them okay under people nature objects places and symbols so you can just start uh, putting those in there however you want um, by just double clicking on them okay so I'm gonna select a few here go down back up to people select some of these emoji characters up here the faces under people alright and then all you have to do is highlight those and you can make them uh, any size you want in text edit and then if I want to use these characters outside of text edit all I have to do is export this text edit file as a PDF alright so I'm gonna go back in here take out a couple of these here select all of these and make them even larger Okay, and if you go too large, they may start to pixelate. So let's go back down to 144. And we're going to export this as a PDF. And we're just going to call it Emoji PDF. Save it to the desktop. And there we go then go into Photoshop in this case CS6 Photoshop open and we'll open that PDF in Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign any of the Adobe products open it up and I'm just gonna leave it at the defaults at 300 pixels per inch Make sure my mode is set to RGB color and not generic grayscale. Open that up and there you go. Now you can use these emojis as individual graphics uh, by simply copying and pasting into a new document. They already have the transparency on them, so which is nice. Uh, you can use them just like they are um, in your website designs or um, InDesign or Illustrator or Photoshop. So there's a little brief uh, how-to with the App Emoji characters. Unfortunately the font does not work in uh, the Adobe software so this is the way you have to do it and maybe at some future date Apple will make this uh, a universal font that works in all applications. But like I said before there's 889 uh, different characters available to you. Another way to get to them is through a third party product called Pop Character, which you see when I click on the P in the top left corner. Um, there's the Apple em Color Emoji characters all broken down in their various categories. 
and it's pretty cool because there's a lot of neat little dingbats and doodads um, and symbols that you can use in your designs and layouts and web pages and the shading is really nice they're all three-dimensional there are black and white versions of these too but um, of course colors the way you want to go with these so um, anyway enjoy using these and we'll talk to you again soon later bye